Hi, I'm Sue Murphy. I was talking with my friend Amy after Wednesday night prayer meeting. Her son Kyle was heading toward us looking very sad. I watched as his mother leaned in to speak softly to her unhappy child. Kyle opened up a goodie bag he had gotten that night during our King's Kids Children's Ministry. He said, Mommy, I wanted a little pumpkin, but I got this. This was a golden ornamental squash. Amy and I exchanged looks and had a laugh. Kyle had been the last child chosen to pick a fall-related prize from the gift table set up to celebrate the harvest season. It was obvious that this little eight-year-old had his heart set on something he wanted, but it just didn't work out this time. I found out from my son who was working in the children's program that day that there was a choice between a little pumpkin and the bigger squash. And Kyle actually chose the squash. I listened with empathy as Amy told him, Honey, this is just what we need to decorate our Thanksgiving table. I'm not sure Kyle was convinced that squash could ever be a good thing, but a mother's heart wanted to shield her child from life's disappointments. God is like that, even more so. He knows that the choices we make can either bring regret or blessings. Sometimes he even gives us what we want, knowing that our human nature will never be satisfied for long with things. We have a God-shaped yearning in our souls that can only be satisfied with a personal relationship with the one that created us in the first place. Go to confectionatelyyours.net for the recipes for gooey pumpkin bars and yellow squash casserole. Sometimes when you want a pumpkin, life gives you squash, so we had better be prepared for both. I'm Sue Murphy, and I am confectionately yours. Thank you.